Well, good morning to you. Maybe, I'm not sure. But if it is good morning, then good morning. Oh boy, oh boy. This garage is an absolute mess. I mean, it is like a freaking bomb went off in this bitch. <clears throat> anyway, my parents came by for the weekend. They came all the way down from uh, Maryland, so. It's the first time they've come to visit here since we moved to Florida and they ended up bringing a care package for me. Some of the big items that I still had left up there, car parts and stuff. Uh, I'm still gonna get a lot of the smaller odds and ends parts that I may never use, but I probably will sell, just that has some extra money to put towards Buster. But some of the big stuff like this, my lovely, very expensive waste of exhaust for the SHO, the exhaust piece that, in my opinion, made the one of the best sounding SHOs and I wasn't even done with it yet. So I finally got this back. I, I, don't, I still don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. I really don't. I, I, that's another worry for another day. But uh, over here, I got, they brought me my bike. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with that because I haven't had time to do anything. But in this box, we have Buster's factory intake. Like this box takes up a lot of real estate. Um, that takes up a lot of real estate. Oh, and uh, my Kirky racing seat. Many people might not remember is that this actually originally came in the Fiero. And I took this out and switched it with two uh, plastic racing seats. Um, that way I could have a passenger. Kept this because it's a good seat. Kirky seats are generally pretty expensive, even used, so. You never know, that's why I kept it around. I don't know what I'll ever get into in the future. Regardless of that, I gotta get this garage cleaned up. I mean, I got stuff everywhere. Like, what's, look, see I got, look, transmission fluid here. Oh, you wanna know something? Tell me why, like how long has Ford been producing the 10R80? Which, mind you, uses this Mercon ULV, ultra low viscosita, okay? Tell me why, no matter what part store you go into, you cannot find this on the shelf. I've checked them all. It's just the regular Mercon LV, not ULV. I don't understand why. I mean, the freaking Tenor 80s are in everything. But yet, you can hardly find the, the transmission fluid on the shelf. But I was able to get this from my local O'Reilly's. They, uh, they had some that was at a different store in Tampa, so they were able to get some to me. I think I only need two quarts. I'm hoping that's all that kind of spilled out when I, the torque converter came loose. I could be wrong. I got the Motocraft RTV. This is the same crap that took me forever to get off. Just gonna have to put it back on. I mean, I got stuff everywhere. I haven't even shown you this. This is the uh, tool kit, the, the special tool you need for, what do you call it? Uh, timing these EcoBoost engines. So, you know, it's something I got off. Amazonian locks everything together so you can time it all. So that's all nice and dandy. I'm gonna have to get this stuff cleaned up over here. Any of the major oiling components have been just kind of, like I cleaned them up and ever since then, they've been, they've been chilling here in a nice oil slash marble Mr. Oil bath. Cam phaser actuator thingies, the cam phasers, the oil pump, all this has been in here soaking, the chains, the guides. Eventually I'm gonna get these pulled out and just kind of let them drain off so they're not just soaking everything with dripping oil. But this was just to help keep everything nice and lubed up until it was time for assembly. I want everything as lubed and as nice as possible. I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and threw some of that oil down in here just to get this thing primed up. I don't want no problems. I mean, I got stuff everywhere. Oh, the new engine, the short block is up on the stand, ready to roll. I got parts here, parts everywhere. Finally, I got my head gaskets. Yes, you heard me right. I said head gaskets. This was a big fiasco because 
This, I didn't even think I was ever gonna get. I ordered this from another company. In fact, I was just, I was making a video. I was in the process of making a video of how bad this company was to deal with and I'm still not 100% happy with my experience because it really took multiple complaints and then contacted my bank for them just to get this sent out to me. So this is a super tech head gasket for a two liter EcoBoost. You have to use these with a 2 block. You know, and I decided not to make the video because this ended, this ended up coming anyway and whatever. But long story short, I didn't even think I was gonna get this one. So I went ahead and ordered another one, which now this one is being sent back. This is SCE. Um, if you know anything about SCE, uh, you know that these gaskets are usually reserved for really, really high end, you know, builds. Like this gasket here will hold over a thousand horsepower, no problem. It actually has copper uh, fire rings around each of the bores. Like this is a serious gasket. And the only reason I ordered this one is because this was actually available where as from my understanding, this gasket was on a nationwide back order until March, but somehow I ended up getting one. So not sure how that happened, but this gasket will do what I need. Like this gasket is perfect for the power that that block is built for. And then I'm looking to make that one is overkill. So now that I have both, that one's going back. And of course this will free up some space in here. And uh, I gotta get some of these other stuff out of the way. Like I just got all the other parts in these boxes here underneath and whatnot. And yeah, once I get that engine back in the car, this garage will be somewhat usable again, but it is a mess in here. And I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for everything and everything finally comes, but it comes with on the week that you know, my parents were coming down to visit. So it's like, damn, I can't even put anything together because now, you know, I've got to spend time with my parents. Next to family is getting this damn car running again. So now that they are gone, now that it's all nice and quiet in this house again, can finally start getting back to work. So this video, not only is just to be like, hey, you know, I'm still alive, things are still going, but it's also, uh, hey, this week, we're starting the process. Starting the process of putting the uh, short block back together, I mean the whole engine back together, honestly. I mean, I got everything done, ready to go. I only need to get like a few more things. Like I think I have some Loctite. Um, where, where would I have it if I had it? Uh, uh, I don't know. I need to get some red and blue Loctite and I need to get some uh, camshaft lube for the new camshafts. And I think that's pretty much it, mostly. I mean, yeah, it, there was a lot. Other than that, I think I got everything I need. I still need to, I mean, there, there's just so many small things. I gotta get like breaking oil and, and whatnot. And oh, man, this is, it, it ain't a problem when you this ain't your daily and this is just some other car you got and you got money and you got time, but when you ain't got none of it, it's a problem. Big one, but we'll figure it out. We're getting there. So this week we will hopefully, I'm hoping by the end of this week, I'm hoping by this Sunday, this car will be running. This car will be back on the road. Now, it may not be making all the power it could, but it will be running and driving. That's all I really care about for now. The power can come at a later time and it will be ready for it when the time comes. But until then, just getting it back up and running is priority. That is all happening very, very soon. Keep a look out for all those videos, but I think that's going to finally wrap it up here for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for the next Cars Creative video.